Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Cyberlift. As you can see here, we got something pretty exciting. Version 11 of the software, and not only that, finally caught up, but 10.8 of the beta. So what we're about to do is go attempt the Friars Challenge with this highly acclaimed new and improved version of the beta. But we're gonna kind of take a peek here at our new features. Version 11, tap to see what's new. So, a few items have moved as far as controls. That's interesting. So this actually, okay, the this is exactly like the Model S and X now. So we've gotten the, the update to the UI to mirror the Model S and X. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to mess with some of this stuff later. Well, we're gonna cool this off a little bit. I like a nice 19, 19 and a half Celsius. Man, the UI looks amazing. Oh, I can turn the rear fan on in there. Cool. All right, so 10.8 of the beta. We have got a lot of improvements here. Some pretty extensive release notes. The big thing that I'm looking forward to has to do with deadline lane changing. Expanded use of regenerative braking and autopilot down to zero. Improved photon to control by 20%, so a reduction in latency. There it is. Improved short deadline lane change through richer trajectory modeling driving visualization improvements yeah this is looking good this should be a customizable or an edit friendly ui setup now all right let's do the important thing here let's make sure everything's still good on our beta auto steer still active navigate on autopilot still set to all the goodies that i had it at we always keep it in the assertive mode we're at a 10 percent speed limit offset automatic blind spot camera there we go show side repeater camera when turn signals engaged hey, hey all right i like that the positioning, oh, they're both right there. That's brilliant, that's brilliant. Forward collision warning always gets reset to off. It's it's so strange, so I just, I leave it alone, frankly. Like, every time that I change it, it just ends up going back to off anyway. Data notes are out of the way. The UI is looking nice. Ooh, yeah, we have customizable waypoints too. There's a lot of fun stuff here. Doing this Friars challenge has given me the idea of creating more challenging routes in the future. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to our starting point by the 7-Eleven to keep this as organic as possible. And I know uh, the lighting conditions outside right now are not the best. It's a little bit later in the day. You know, the holidays have kind of made things a little tougher, but let's go get this going, huh? We've got, again, version 11, 10.8. And one of the biggest things that I'm blown away by is, well, see for yourself. Oh man, look at that. A full visual. This is the Friars Challenge. We're doing this at night. We're engaging now. I want to get all of this. So this is supposed to be a massive step change in the software. I am probably not going to be able to use the internal footage. And we're just doing a first run. This part's all pretty easy we're good and some things to notice here with the visualization not only is it amazing especially for all of you that I can expand this and you can see everything but the dotted line is gone it is now a solid blue nav line similar to the public build and there are a lot more textures and shaders to be seen a lot more detail all around I cannot wait to see what else becomes visible I wonder if this is nope that's not good <laughs> Apologize for the impromptu drive, but this is my first use of 10.8 and we're doing the Friars Challenge to see if it is a substantial improvement like we've been told. Now, I will not write this off if it can't do it because again, this is a tough route. It, it is not yet once has this vehicle been able to complete it. So, fingers crossed. We're coming up to our kind of blind right turn. Uh, much more natural deceleration there. And as you can see, the repeater cameras are popping up. You do have to go in and enable that in your settings. But once you do, it'll appear right here, whether you're doing right or left. Rather congested here. So come on, we need to get out of here. Nope, we got a car coming. You need to, nope, I had to take over there. That was, it was about to just pull out in front of that car. Okay, disengagement number one. All right, now let's dive into this corner. That is quite a bit more finessed. That was pretty good. All right, we're coming around. All right, now let's test out that short dead lane change ability. Come on, this is it. You gotta dive over. Oh, failure. <laughs> no. 
All right. I'd also love to take a moment to appreciate the very clean UI in the top left corner regarding our maximum speeds and everything. We can move this around, that was sloppy, and go back to the standard view and everything kind of splits up here, which is nice. But uh, I really enjoy the full visual. That is amazing. All right, so we failed to execute that lane change. Let's see if the rest of this is doable. So coming up here, usually we have the failure of taking the eight instead of staying on the actual Friars Road exit. And then subsequent to that, not decelerating enough to actually take the right hand portion of that exit to come around to Hotel Circle. So here we go. Here comes the eight change here. Hopefully we stay on Friars. I'm ready. We're decelerating. We're following this car. Correction. It wanted to, but it stopped itself. That's an improvement. That's a marked improvement. That was good. Okay, this is really important though. Can it properly slow down here? Are you reading this corner, my friend? We're coming in much slower. Usually we're around 80 kilometers an hour and we're entering at 50. Oh my gosh, amazing. I wish you could see my face right now. I'm sorry about the picture quality again. I know it's at night. I wanted to do this earlier, holidays, yada, yada, but that's really good. So far, our only actual route disengagement due to the course was that exit. Um, and I'm disappointed that the car was gonna jump. It might have stopped too. I took over just in case because another driver was involved. But I don't really mark that as an incapability. That was more just a weird scenario. So the rest of this is actually not too bad. Oh, I got a little aggressive there. I kind of liked that actually. Let's see how smooth we handle this hairpin corner basically coming up. The last thing that we have done sloppy on this course is this final left before actually going back towards the mall and the superchargers where in the 10.6 video, the car just kind of stopped in the middle of two lanes, very sloppy, just taking up both turning lanes because of a last minute decision. There we go, hairpin non-stop no yield nothing it should just continue through i mean it's okay to be checking here but this is stopping a little long it's all right you know it's also it is nighttime windshield is a little blurry too i don't know why we're hang on do we have a navigational spoof here we do oh goodness well that's irritating we want to continue this way that's kind of a different route I should have caught that. I was a little bit too excited. All right, now we're back on the Friars Challenge course. Let's see, we should not be in this lane. I do not know why we got back in this lane. That's, that's a, f okay, come on. <laughs> this is not the best. Okay, at least we're not trying to, why? Why, you're doing it again. We're not technically in this other lane, but I'm not sure what this thing is trying to do here. This is a really weird, come on, turn left. Oh, that was sloppy. I didn't technically have to take over because there was no one to really block there. This is quite a bit jumpy. All right, so we got turned around. Again, I was getting a bit overly excited. Forgot that it had been raining pretty much all day yesterday. So the the valley that is Fashion Valley is basically flooded. Parking garages and the uh, main entrance routes that I take to get there on the Friars Challenge. So we are going to go ahead and, you know, let the Beta take us around the other way that doesn't involve blocked roads to get to the Charger and kind of talk about what the experience is like with the first Beta run with 10.8. Um, obvious improvements in different areas, for sure. Some things are still apparently a challenge. We're of course gonna get multiple test runs of these areas. Oh look, lighting's back, that's great. Gonna be gone in a minute. But uh, anyway, yeah, the, I'm just gonna take over here because I don't know if this is technically a go red on red scenario. Um, Beta's still really sloppy with that final left turn 
down the, the Friars Road area. I don't know, what are you doing? What is this? That's a mess. All right, yeah, we're putting this in the video too because that was just completely sloppy. Decided it was gonna get out of the turn lane that it was attempting to take to get into the bike lane and whatever, you saw it. All right. Back in beta again. I've lost count of how many times I've disengaged on this trip. There are a lot of people out. So we'll see how it does next time. Um, in the daylight with proper lighting and you know hopefully 10.8 can show that it can learn a bit faster thank you for the view i hope you enjoyed it i apologize for the sloppy nature of it but hey first impressions jumping in just wanting to see what it's like regardless of the time of day so until the next beta video take care